Hello, welcome back. So today I just wanted to do something that was a little bit light and fresh. My makeup, I don't usually wear a lot of pink, especially like on my eyes and for a highlight. But I wanted to just do something like that was nice and soft, but still a little bit different. And I know a lot of people like pink tones on their skin, so hopefully you like this. I wanted to keep it nice and soft. That's why I just went with like the soft shimmer on the eye. I didn't want to smoke it out too much. I wanted it to be like fresh. So if you want to see how I get this soft pinky glow, please keep watching. So I'm going to grab my Ulla Henriksen Banana Primer and I'm just going to prime my skin. And then I'm taking my NARS Sheer Radiance Foundation and I'm adding some of this radiance drops from Givenchy with it. I don't really know if it even made that much of a difference, but I haven't used it before and I just wanted to, to use it and add it in for a little bit of dewiness. And then I'm taking my Fenty concealer and using this to highlight and conceal the usual. This sponge is from Ofer Cosmetics and I'm using it damp. And then to contour my cheekbones, I'm taking my Jouer Concealer. This is in the shade Coffee. You only need a tiny amount of this because it spreads a lot. So I like to just use this underneath my cheekbones mostly just to just really carve out my cheekbones. And then I'm taking my Hourglass Translucent Powder. And I'm using this underneath my eyes, the usual. And just like down along my T-zone, anywhere that looks extra oily. And then just to bronze a little bit more, I'm taking my Shady Biz. Bronzer from Fenty just to go over the contour and then just to add that extra little bit of bronze to my skin. And then going in with my high beam from Benefit. This is like a liquid highlight. So I'm just adding a little bit to my cheekbones and up along my forehead. And um, this takes a little bit of, you know, movement to blend it in. So just added a little bit of Fix Plus to my skin just to help the illuminator blend a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, it just do it little by little because as I said it does kind of take a little bit of momentum to <laughs> blend it in and I just added some to around my nose as well just any like high points of my face and for my eyes then I took this Huda Beauty liquid shadow this is in the shade Wednesday so it's just this like really soft pale pink and I just kind of put it on the outer corners of my eyes and then blended it into my crease I don't know, I was just trying something. They didn't really show that much on the skin. It was like a very soft, subtle, pale pink, but it worked for the look. I just did the exact same then on the other side. And then I just wet my brush with some Fix Plus. Then I'm going into my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight and I'm putting this all over my lid. And then I went over it with my finger just to enhance the shimmer and just really pack it on all over the lid. And I just added some of the pink liquid shadow underneath my eye, more so on like the outer part of the underneath of my eye. So I just grabbed a little bit of brown shadow along my lower lash line, just a tiny amount. And then into my waterline, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Pink of Me pencil, just a really soft, subtle pink shade. Then I'm going in just to coat my lashes with a layer of mascara. And then for my inner corner, I'm taking the other side of the Huda Beauty Liquid Shadow. This is the shade Froyo, so it's just a soft metallic pink shade. So this was just perfect then just to add to the inner corners of my eyes. And the lashes I'm wearing, I think these are the Miami Light from Lily Lashes. I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Highlight Palette, taking this pink shade. I'm going to use this then to highlight along my cheekbones. And then over that I'm taking my Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit, just to add a little bit more glow. For my lips then I'm taking my Edge to Edge Lip Liner from MAC. And then I'm going over with this pink lipstick from MAC. It's one of the new ones, I forget the name, but check the description box, I'll have it linked down there. And then to finish it off, I'm taking this really soft pale pink lip gloss from Zoeva. 
So this is it for my soft pinky glam. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. The highlight is usually something I would steer very clear of because it's quite pink. You know, I'm all into the bronzy, boldeny glow. But I'm happy with how like this whole look came together. I think it's like very cute and girly. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.